All right, let's jump in. Um, we did a show, I did a show, uh, a few months ago on, um, on El Salvador, if you remember, on, on the, the massive decline in uh, violence and in murder rates in particular in El Salvador as a consequence of the Salvadorian government basically uh, announcing emergency measures whereby they rounded up 68,000 people. 68,000 people put them in jails, built a large jail, uh, maybe in the world, at least in, in the Americas, uh, that holds 40,000 uh, inmates. Uh, basically, they have imprisoned now 1% of the population. This is double w what the United States has, and the United States incarcerates a lot of people. Uh, and uh, by doing this, uh, basically, homicide rates have dropped by 92%. Uh, they are now, El Salvador is now safer than many, uh, well, some. Many American cities, some American cities, um, it's still, you know, it's still not safe, safe, um, but it's much safer. Extortion is reported to be down about 60, 70 percent. Extortion was huge, uh, sucking up a big chunk of the uh, of the profits or the, the livelihood of many small to medium sized businesses uh, were being sucked up to an extortion. All of that is gone. Um, and uh, they've got 68,000 people in, in jail, 1% of their population. Uh, the challenge, of course, is that in rounding up the 68,000, they rounded up a lot of people who are probably innocent. Um, if you had tattoos, uh, you were rounded up. If you were a relative of, of a known gang member, you were rounded up, even though you might not be a gang member, in spite of the fact of being a relative of a gang member. And it's... it's um, so there are there are major challenges. There are major challenges to individual rights, and uh, uh, there are a lot of innocent people in jail. A lot of innocent people being caught up in this, and 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 it just brings up an interesting point. So there's a major Wall Street Journal article on this uh, as of yesterday. Um, uh, so it was a, with photographs and and a big uh, kind of a big spread, and of course the, the, this is a real challenge. How do you balance? the need for security, and this is a need, a human need, a, an essential for civilization, an essential for economic and social progress, an essential for people to live their lives, uh, you know, in a, in a reasonable manner, is to be safe from violence. And this is the number one job of government, is to protect us from violence. You know, this is, this is why anarchy is such a bizarre idea, because... Uh, you know, El Salvador is an an was an anarchy until a, a, a little while ago, right? And and what you got is massive murders, and what you got is deals between the government, one uh, one government in between the gangs, and the gangs violated the the deals. So so, funnily enough, this president was pretty soft on the gangs in the beginning. What he did was he cut a deal with them, and he and he basically let them get away with a lot of stuff in exchange for reduced crime, and crime did come down. And then there was a spree of murders a year and a half ago, um, which ultimately led him to, to you know, the, the clamp down on, on the gangs. Uh, but, but his first approach was to negotiate, which is what the president of Mexico is doing, which is what it, it typically is done in Brazil and everywhere else, negotiate with the murderers, which is more like how anarchy would work. We just negotiate. And what you get is very, very high crime rates, very, very high murder rates, uh, and almost no murderer is going to jail. So uh, El Salvador tried this other way, and of course what you get when you do that is you get a violation of some people's rights, and what you get is uh, emergency powers given to the, the executive branch, the president in this case, and uh, what you get is a, is a move towards authoritarianism. And this is what happens when you let a country go, when you let <clears throat> violence go rampant, authoritarianism usually follows because people won't tolerate that, don't want to tolerate that. They want to live in peace. It's, it's basic. It's the fundamental. It's the one on It's a basic thing that they want. And, and that's what's happening in El Salvador. The current president, Bukele, is, uh, has an approval rating of 90%, 9-0. Everybody loves him. Why? Because they can now go out into the streets without fear of being shot. They can now open their business without having to pay extortion money to more than one gang, several gangs. They can now order pizza, and the pizza delivery will actually come to their neighborhood for a long time. 
the 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 kind of uh, delivery services uh, did not go into certain neighborhoods. You can now call the police, and the police will actually show up. So, uh, the rule of law is super important and super valued by human beings, and it takes it takes a real rare political leader to uh, combine the protection of, uh, of, of, of rights, of, of, innocent, uh, of the innocent, uh, uh, you know, protection, protecting them from, from violence, but also then making sure not to uh, penalize the innocent by rounding them up. And, you know, if you put all the males, all men, popu- uh, the whole male population in jail, violence will come down. There's no question about that. So how do you balance the two? And, and it's going to be a real... A uh, rare political leader who can do that. I mean, w- Putin came to power in Russia in 2000 for the first time because of the mayhem, the anarchy, and the violence generated by that anarchy in Russian society during the 1990s. And and what Russians wanted is a strong man to straighten things out, and he did. And Russia to this day is paying the price. Now, is Bukele the kind of leader who ultimately can rein it back is Bukele the kind of leader who can uh, go through the population in prison of 68,000 figure out who is guilty and who is innocent quickly and effectively and free the innocent we will have to wait and see there's still uh, you know no clear evidence one way or another the uh, special powers that were given the government in order to round up everybody are still in place are renewed every month um, and, and uh, you know, the, the, on top of that, they, they do claim that they have uh, put in front of uh, a judge 60,000 of the inmates, so that's a huge percentage. They have freed thousands of inmates uh, because I assume they, they think they're innocent. Uh, but there's still fear that there are at least three to 5,000 innocents uh, among those that are being held. And again, Bukele will be ultimately judged historically over the long run. Short run, huge success, amazingly popular. And and maybe this was necessary, right? Maybe this was necessary. The price is you've got innocent people in jail, but at least innocent people are not dying in the streets. The question is, how do you long-term establish the rule of law? Not the rule of the fist, but the rule of law. And how do you long-term make sure that the people who stay in jail are the actual guilty and the, and, and the, you release the people who are actually um, uh, innocent. In the meantime, uh, the, um, uh, unsurprisingly, the Salvadorian economy is doing well. It's growing fast. Uh, it, you know, it, 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 they are courting investment now, uh, touting the fact that crime rates are so low, uh, investment will probably start flowing in. There's also some really good tax deals for tech companies to go to El Salvador. Um, and uh, so, you know, this will help the economy. One of the things that economies need, one of the things that capitalism needs in order to exist and economies need in order to thrive is the elimination of violence. The elimination of violence. So let's hope El Salvador takes the right path from this point moving forward. It's getting a lot of attention. Of course, you know, the article tries to be balanced, tries to, uh, you know, but, but highlights the human rights violations, which are real. Uh, but, but it also gives you the facts about the crime rate and about the increasing economy and about the, the, the sheer popularity of uh, the president.